everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I hope everybody is having a super awesome day today so far regardless of whether it be morning, noon, or night. I hope you're having a really super awesome day today. So today guys we have a really really super awesome video. I've got some really good ones this week. I've found some really awesome products this week but before I get into it um, I just wanted to say hi my name is Gabe if you're new to my channel. I'm a 50 year old makeup artist. I've been in the industry 50 plus years and I've been worn all many different types of hat in the cosmetic industry as especially customer service and I've actually been a national as well so welcome to my channel I welcome you guys with open arms and if you are my older subscribers welcome back because I love you love you guys so much because you're so fabulous and I just want to hug you all because you're also amazing and I love you guys interacting with me on Instagram and on you know here and everything else and the same thing with my newer subscribers you can always like you know please hit me up on Instagram if you want to talk a little bit more sometimes in the comment box it's a little bit more difficult but definitely do that because I love chit chat with you guys when I get the opportunity to talk so you know but with that said let's get into it today because if you guys are interested into some long comb maybe some long wear and a brand new lipstick and a brand new concealer then stick around L'Oreal brow pencil it's in a taupe um I'm kind of seeing how I like it um, you know, so far so good. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit different than a taupe. It's a little bit more on the darker brunette side, but I'm playing with it to see. Um, I have, um, I'm not going to be doing eyes today because I've got another video to do. So I'll be doing eyes in that one. But, you know, I put on some blush, a little bit of bronzer. I have on the Lancome Taunt Adol Stick foundation i have that on in the shade 420 and i also did um a little bit of the jelly pop up underneath the elf jelly pop if you guys have never tried this primer before it's the dew primer and they only come out with it i think they just do it for the summer and that's it it's such a really really good primer and it smells like a jolly rancher it is just so <laughs> and i think it's like 10 bucks or something it's really really cheap but i had this one from last year they came out with it last year but they redid the collection again this year and it is just a super super awesome awesome primer so I definitely recommend it if you like a little bit more of a stickier primer or if you like something that's kind of tacky um it's really really awesome it's really really good I absolute rouge drama ink and um it is a semi-matte liquid lipstick that delivers ultra pigmented lightweight lip color that lasts all day um so this is I got it in the shade 555 and it's oh so it's so, so Sophie, Sophie de Ver or something like that I can't pronounce it it's in French but it looks like this so it looks really cute. It's in a cute little, a cute little thing. It's like a really, really pretty peach. I did a little bit of the long comb lip liner and the lip lip liner tangerine in Le Liner, um, and it's so pretty. So I like it. It's kind of a matte. So uh, the liners are more matte. So I wanted to add this over to it, but I wanted to give a little definition before I put the lipstick on. But to give you guys just a little bit more information, um, it is an ultra thin weightless lip ink that leaves lips saturated and vibrant color, and it's for all day wear in just one swatch. Wipe. Um, it's a the patented curved applicator ensures ultimate precision without a liner and you won't feather or bleed. You can actually do it without a lip liner, but I wanted to put one on just in case, just to make sure. Um, it's infused with rose extract and it's supposed to leave your lips really soft, nurtured, and comfortable all day long. And it comes in 13 different shades and a $28 a lip the applicator stick. looks like. The applicator looks like this. It's kind of slanted. It's really, really small. It's not really big it actually has a it kind of pulls out the product some when you pull it out and so it doesn't grab it so when it grabs it it grabs some of the product so when you pull it out you can feel it kind of pulling out um this is what the shade looks like um it's a really really pretty soft peach color um and it looks really beautiful and they did have some really really pretty shades um there was another coral one it was just a little bit more of like a coral red type and they had like a couple different reds um and, you know there were like one or two really soft ones and then there was like some more deeper ones um but it is really really pretty um i have left it on the back of my hand for a little bit just experiment with it to see when I was in ca at the counter I put it on to see and I just let it dry and see how long and it stayed on really really well so I'm just very interested to see how it's going to kind of stay on our lips so let's just go ahead and put it on and see what happens so let me get my Barbie mirror or we'll have to pull up the Barbie <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do it I'm going to and go in a little bit right here and right out here. oh and that's the lip wonder great wow oh it does go on really easy it goes on really easy, actually. Really nicely. And the applicator does work really well. Wow, that's really easy. Okay. 
Okay, Wong Kong. Yeah. It's drying really quickly. You put it on, it's definitely liquidy, but it's drying really quickly. It's very light. It's not heavy at all. Like when you put it on, it goes on, it kind of almost evaporates, kind of. Um, it's definitely buildable. As you can see, I'm building it. Um, you can put it on really light or you can put it on thicker. It's got a, it's got a really clean like scent to it. Um, a little bit like it has a little, you could feel it smell a little bit of like the rose, like, um, like in some of long comb lipsticks, they have a little bit of like a rose or like a smell in them. Um, so it does have some fragrance in it. So if you're like, if you don't really like fragrance in your lipstick, you may not really care for it much. Um, it doesn't smell like it's very loud though. Um, you could taste it just a little bit, but not much. Um, it's drying down really, really quickly. Um, it's not looking, um, it's not settling in my lip lines or anything. It's smoothing it out. It's not really going anywhere. It's starting to dry down nicely. It's not going in around the lips or anything like that. So we're going to have to just leave it on for just a little bit and just let it dry more. So now for the star of the show. And this is the Tati Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. To give you guys just an idea of what the concealer does, it's an, a hydrating, lightweight, full coverage concealer that brightens the dark circles under eyes, covers imperfections without creasing or caking, um, and infuses skin-loving ingredients. Um, it's a multi-use concealer that provides, provides 24-hour of hydration and comfort in a natural matte finish. Um, it's ultra blendable with a pre precise tip applicator. Dark, target dark spots, blemishes redness without settling in the lines or creasing. Um, and the concealer can be long, worn alone or with a foundation. And in the video where I'm going to show you where I was like at the gym and at the in the car, um, I actually wore it without foundation. So it was like so I could kind of play with it with foundation and without it. This is the claims on it. It's a weightless full coverage, natural matte finish, up to 24 hour hydration, ultra blendable, no creasing or caking, all in one usage comfortable wear, sweat resistant, non-comedogenic, suitable for sensitive skin, and is tested under dermatologic, dermat, dermatog, dermatog, I can't even say it, dermatological control. I was going to get that out. It was going to take me a while, but I was going to get it out. But, um, but this is what the box looks like, kind of like, sorry, my, I, I got it at Dillard's, so they put the security tag on the side of it, um, you know, within the typical long comb packaging, and then, um, and then this is what it looks like, so it's just a, a tube just like that, I got it in the shade 330, um, I think it's neutral, 330 neutral, um, and, you know, basically, it's a really nice, hefty tube, so if you look the side of my face, it's pretty big, it's like a pretty big, for long comb, it's a pretty big, um, you know, it kind of puts me in the mind a little bit, of the L'Oreal um, Infallible Concealer. Um, they're they're kind of a little the different the tubes are different but it has a similar doe fit but the formula is a little different too but this is what the doe fit looks like so I'm gonna pull the doe fit out it looks like that so it's a pretty large size doe fit and because I've been using it it kind of looks like already so just kind of know that it wasn't brand new I mean I was brand new when I got it it's not now but but it looks it's really really cool um, this is what it looks like without just a, a swipe of just like basic coverage. That's what it looks like with just like a basic coverage. Have a very natural matte like finish to it. Um, and it feels very, very lightweight. Um, you have to build it up if you want it to build up a little bit. You, um, just to give you a heads up though, the, if you were a long home customer and you used the Maki Complay, they discontinued that one. It was also one that was in the wand. It was more of a complete coverage concealer. It was a little bit more of a hydrating one. Um, this one is supposed to hydrate as well. It's, um, infused with the moringa extract. So it won't dry off the skin and it won't cake or crease. And that's what makes it feel breathable. It's that and then it's another, um, there's a couple other extracts in it too. There's a rose extract. There's a couple different other ones in it. Um, it has a little bit of a smell, itty bitty little bit, but it's not anything extreme or anything like that. But you can smell a little something, but it's not anything extreme. It's just very, very clean and it's not anything over the top. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into um, future me, <laughs> what it kind of looked like then, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the gym. Uh, I'm in my parking lot in my apartment complex. Before I leave, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look of what the concealer looks like. I've done um, nothing but just concealer. I did over top of my sunscreen. I put it around my eyes, a little bit all over my face. 
um, a little bit where I'm kind of red a little bit because we thought we would wear it to the gym and see how it kind of works and how it performs. Um, this is what it's looking like, like around here. It's not gathering anything around my under my eye area, which is really surprising because it is like a light matte. So it does have a matte look to it because I was very shiny before I put this on. And then when I put it on, it kind of mattified a little bit. So I was a little like, mm, I don't know about this, but, um, it's not looking bad. I mean, actually, in the real light, it looks really, it looks still kind of pretty. Um, it's not, you know, yeah, it's not really that bad. And I didn't even, um, I just did my sunscreen. I kind of spray, sprayed some water, some sunscreen, a little extra moisturizer. I didn't even wash my face or anything this morning. So this is kind of like what it's looking like. Um, but in the light, in the natural light, it's looking really, really good. We're going to see how it works in the gym and see if it holds up in the humidity and the sweat and see what it looks like afterwards, which is usually a good test to see. Um, but so far, so good. I mean, I'm kind of impressed with it. Just on bare skin without any makeup or foundation or whatever. And I didn't put a ton on it anyway. I just put just a little bit because I'm going to the gym. I mean, who am I going to impress? Um, I just put on a little bit, just enough to kind of even me out a little bit just to see a thin layer so it's not anything super thick. Um... But anyway, we'll see what happens. So just thought I would just check in and just show you. So we will be back soon. Hey guys, so I am back. So um, I've just been able to kind of give you an idea of what the concealer looks like. I forgot to do it right after the gym. So I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> My mind was getting onto the grocery store so I could get home to do some more filming and everything. I've got a very busy day today. So I just totally forgot about it. So I'm sorry. So anyway, up close, just letting you guys see. Um, so far, it looks like it hasn't really, um, creased at all. Um, hasn't really done anything. It hasn't really moved. Um, it stayed on really well. I sweat really, really a lot, actually. Um, I did a little bit around my lips where it is, but I did also drink a shake. Um, I had a little bit of a shake, so that kind of, like, took away some of it around the lips. But, um... And around the nose, a little bit of that went away. And a little bit on the tip of my nose, it went away a little bit. But for the most part, it's held up really well. I mean, I can't complain. I mean, again, I didn't put a lot on. I just did a little bit, so I didn't do a lot. So... It looks pretty good. I mean, all in all, it's, it's been pretty good. And, it, and for it to be a natural uh, matte finish, it hasn't creased or anything or it hasn't made me look really agey or anything like that, like which I thought it would. Um, but it hasn't. I'm kind of liking Not it. A good uh, four hours, four, four and a half hours or so, maybe. Um, so anyway, when you come, when we go back, we'll, you know, we'll get the final results and see what I think of it completely. We are back, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I don't have any concealer on right now. I didn't put any concealer on, um, so we're just going to go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in a little bit of the concealer right through here, just so you guys can see it a little bit up close and personal. I'm going to put on a little bit so you can kind of see um, how it kind of looks. I'm going to use take a little bit of my Morphe brush, and we're just going to go in, and we're just going to lightly tap into the concealer it blends in very very seamlessly um it does a very good job of not really um it does a really good job of kind of not being really super over the top. you can see how smooth it looks how it just blends in really quickly um it does seem to dry down really fast too so i'm not saying you have to work with it really quickly but it is a longer wearing formula um and it um you know and so i would probably suggest definitely um kind of working with it maybe a little bit quicker but if you can see it already looks like it's kind of it blurs a little bit so it does have a little bit of a blurring effect um it's a little bit of the natural matteness to it so i'm gonna take a little bit more through here um and this time I'm going to just going to use my finger. So I'm going to tap it in with my finger just to give a little bit more coverage instead of the brush. And we're just going to blend that out. And I'm not worried about any of my blush or whatever. I'll fix that. You guys can see, but it actually, it's a, it's a natural matte, but it has this undertone to it that actually gives the little bit of like, a little bit of like radiance. So, it's just if you can see it and, you know, um, I'll pull up close so you guys can really see. But it is just really, it just really, really looks really smooth. And it looks really nice. So, you would think it would be really crinkly looking, but it really isn't. So, when you look at it, it just looks really, it looks very, very smooth. Um, it's not dewy. So, it's not dewy. And from a distance, it looks a little radiant. And that may have a little bit to do with my Lisa Elridge that I put right here, um, her highlighter. But it looks really smooth. Um, it doesn't look really dry or anything. 
So let's just get into my final thoughts already. Um, cause with this, the, with the lipstick, um, it stays on really good. It feels really comfortable. I mean, I can lick them. They feel really comfortable. Let's just go ahead. I think it's been on long enough to take a test. It's still coming off. So it's still coming off. So let me do it again. Let's find it again. Yep. It's coming off. But, um, it's coming off some, but it's not bad. It just lightened it up a little bit, lightened it up a little bit more. So, would I say that it's transfer resistant? No, but it does, I don't even think it makes that claim. It doesn't really say that it's transfer resistant. Um, it just feels really, um, it feels very lightweight. It feels, it doesn't feel heavy. I just think if you're looking for like a matte lipstick and you want something that is sometimes it's not really drying because it doesn't feel drying at all. Like, I mean, it's not tight. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel, um, heavy. It feels very light. Um, it's not settling in lines. It's a really beautiful color. Um, I mean, you know, for the lipstick, I mean, I think that it seems like a really nice, um, as far as the liquid lip, I think it feels really nice. Cause you know, some of them can get really drying and really cracky. Um, but so far it feels really comfortable. I don't feel it feel drying and stuff at all. If you're very dry though, you still probably might want to wear a really good lip moisturizer. Um, but I mean, for the most part, it feels really nice. So, I mean, you know, and you don't have to do the lip liner like I did. You could just do it without the lip liner. Um, and I think you would get, it wouldn't travel or anything. I think it would do a very good job. So it feels was really nice. I mean, it's a little much for a lipstick. It's 29, but it is long calm and their and their lipsticks are normally like 30, 32. It's a luxury brand. So let's go into the concealer. So what do you guys what do I think of the concealer? So um so first of all, the lipstick is gave approved. Yay! I think I'm, I'm really liking the lipstick. I played with it enough to kind of get the feel of it to see what I kind of felt like it and um I really really do like with playing with it in store wearing it a little bit and then kind of like, and then actually putting it on here again. Um, I've definitely kind of made up my mind on that one. The same thing with the concealer now that I've worn this all day, I already know what my verdict is on it. It is really a beautiful concealer. Um, do I love it? Not just yet because it's the part. So all of the claims, the wet, the weightless full coverage, very true. The natural matte finish, that is exactly right. Um, 24 hour hydration. Um, that I don't know because I've not worn it for 24 hours, but it does feel in a way hydrating, which is very unique. Um, so it kind of puts me a little bit in the mind of the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. It's got that hydrating blend to it, but yet it's kind of like a still not over dewy, but it's kind of got a little radiance, but it's not radiant. It's kind of that in between. So it's kind of like that. Um, it is ultra blendable. It does blend into the skin very quickly, very easily, very smoothly. Um, there's no creasing or caking. That is true. If you are very dry though, I still would recommend to make sure that you still use a really good eye cream before you put it on. Um, maybe even pop a little bit of primer or illuminator over top of it just to smooth it out a little bit before you use it. Um, but I think dry eyes could get by with this. I think so. I wouldn't go overboard with trying to do a lot of coverage with it though. But you could definitely get, you know, you could definitely, it definitely would look smooth, I think, on a drier eye. You just have to be a little careful with it. Um, all in one usage. I could see that. I mean, if you wanted to use this all over your face and you wanted to use it like a foundation and you wanted to use it, or if you want to get darker shades, you use it as a con contour or, you know, as a little bit of, you know, here and there as shadow, whatever. I mean, it's like a little bit in your crease or whatever. You could definitely do that too. Um, comfortable wear, yes. Sweat resistant, pretty good. I mean, I have to say it's pretty good. Yeah, it does pretty good. Um, the non-comedogenic and all of that, I'm sure. Um, cause usually most of the Lancome products don't normally, especially on me, I'm not sure about any of you guys or anybody else. So I have to say, you know, um, I've never really had a problem with any of their stuff clogging on my skin or clogging up the pores or whatever. Just make sure that you take it off really, really well at night with a makeup dissolver or a really good eye makeup remover and make sure you do that and then do a double cleanse just to make sure you get it all off because sometimes it's a long wearing formula. You have to make sure you get it all off at night. Um, but yeah, this is a really, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I really like it so far. Um, I'm not going to say that I love it yet. I need to play with it a little bit more, but, um, but yeah, I like it. So it's got definitely a Gabe approved. Um, I think that if you guys are looking for something a little bit more, um, a little bit more, if you want a natural matte and you're looking for a concealer, but you want something that's going to stay on really well, but you don't want something that's going to be too drying, um, this could be it. 
I mean, it's a really, I think it could be, a, this could be a possible hit for them. I really, really do. And it's not me being biased because they used to work for them or they're paying me or anything because they're not. I mean, you know, they don't do that. <laughs> they're not paying. I'm not getting any kind of affiliated or anything like that or sponsorship or anything like that. That, uh, you know, it's like, you know, maybe I wish, but you know, but I'm not. So, uh, but yeah, but I do like it. It's really, really cool. Again, I don't really love it yet because I haven't worn it enough to love it. I'm going to have to wear it to work a little bit and see what I think of it at work and, and you know, a couple other things and stuff. But, you know, but as far as yeah, this and the lip, I mean, you know, I really, I mean, I really like these so far, guys. So, if you don't want to check this out, um, it is on, um, it, it is a Dillard's. They, they're the only ones right now that are selling it. It's supposed to be at Ulta sometime in July, um, eventually on Ulta and in Ulta.com. And then it's on Longcom.com as well. So, if you want to pick it up now, at the Longcom.com and again at Dillard's. And um, just to give you guys an info, I think the Dillard's gift starts like the next week. I think it's like after the 4th or something like that. Um, but yeah, if you definitely want to kind of go in and you want to get a gift or something for it, and you know, if you're kind of looking for, if you want to get something at Dillard, then um, I know that Longcom was doing a, um, like a 30% off or 25% or something like that. If you like bought a certain amount or something, um, if you want to check it out on Longcom. I'll link all that down below so you guys will have that. Um, you know, again, I'm not affiliated. I don't make any commission off of it. But, um, but if you guys want to check it out, it's just there for you. Just to go check it out out and look at it if you just want to browse and look if you not want to even shop you just want to look at it and see what it's all about it's just a link that goes direct to it so that way you can kind of check it out and see um but yeah guys that's it for me on this one um you know i've got like two more to do <laughs> So we got two more videos to do. So I've got some really fun ones coming up. Guys, so anyway, if you guys want to stick around and see what I'm going to do with my eyes, then definitely hit the next video and click on that and um, check it out. And, um, you know, and as always, you know, you guys be safe, you know, be strong, you know, be proud, stand tall, you know, and most of all, love yourself and, you know, and be nice to people. You know, sometimes a little kindness goes an awful long way and spreading it and um, sharing a smile or helping somebody out that day really can make their day and it can also make your day too because remember sometimes when you give a little kindness you know sometimes you get it back it's like it's in, in, it happens like it's a little domino effect so just keep that in mind you know um but anyway you guys take care and we will see you in the next episode so anyway take care peace out and we'll see you later bye